Hello everyone, in this video I'll be demonstrating to you the copy function of the DP100 series pressure sensor. Now what this will do is it'll take a set of parameters from one sensor and transfer it over to a subsensor. Now this is great for machine builders who are constantly setting the sensors to the same parameters. You only have to do it once and then copy it every single other time. Now it's a really fast process and it's all done through the output wires. So you'll see that there are two output wires for each sensor and what you do is you cross them white to black and white to black and then it'll create a connection between the two sensors to transfer the data. But first, what I have to do is I have to tell which one of the sensors is my primary or my main sensor. And I do that through my pro mode. So on the first sensor, I'm going to hold the mode button for about four seconds and get into my pro modes. Now I'm going to toggle over to copy. And by pushing the up button, I'm going to turn it on. Now when I hit mode, it's going to go back to ready. So it's ready to copy from this sensor over to this one. Now I'm going to cut my power, and again I'm going to cross my output wires, so black to white, and black to white. Okay, so when I turn the power back on, this one popped off, when I turn the power back on, you're going to see on the second sensor over here, there's going to be a bar graph that goes from right to left that shows that it's copying the function over. Okay, and once it's complete, it verifies that the data was copied properly. So now everything that this sensor was set to is now going to be on this sensor. And when I had it before, I had the PSI label on the sub-display. So this was actually set in PSI, and I believe this one was set into KPA. So now when I cut the power and unhook my wires again, you'll notice that the second sensor is now completely a mirrored copy of this particular sensor. So that's as fast as you get. You don't really have to do much. You just cross the wires over, turn the power on, and everything happens automatically. So it's really a, a quick way of duplicating sensors and making sure that everything that you had set is always going to be on the secondary sensors so you don't have to worry about missing a feature or missing a parameter when you're going and reprogramming new sensors.